you know, based on your work and your symptoms, are you a priority? If so, you're told where there are kiosks you can go to and you'll do the self swab and just hand uh, it over or... Um, but also other tasks, like if you've got overwhelmed healthcare systems, presumably there are kind of community health worker type tasks that people could be trained to do to relieve the pressure there if we knew that they were effectively immune? Yes. Until we came up with the, uh, the self swab and showed FDA that that's equivalent, we were thinking the people who, who might be able to man those kiosks would be the recovered patients. Now, we don't want to have a lot of recovered people. We don't want to have a lot of recovered people. You know, to be clear, we're trying through the shutdown uh, in the United States to not get to 1% of the population infected. We're well below that today, but with exponentiation, you know, you could get past uh, that, that 3 million. I'm, I'm, I believe we will be able to avoid that uh, with the, um, having this economic pain. Eventually, what we'll have to have is certificates of who's a recovered person, who's a vaccinated person. Eventually, what we'll have to have is certificates of who's a recovered person, who's a vaccinated person, because you don't want people moving around the world where you'll have some countries that won't have it under control, sadly. You don't want to completely block off the ability for those you know, people to go there and come back and move around. Eventually, what we'll have to have is certificates of who's a recovered person, who's a vaccinated person. Eventually, what we'll have to have is certificates of who's a recovered person, who's a vaccinated person. We don't want to have a lot of recovered people.